Good morning. <laughs> so today I'm going to be making a video about what it is I do with my cargo van. Since I get asked that question, you know, by friends, family, strangers, just kind of show exactly what it is that I do and I guess give some information on how I got started with it, how I found what I'm doing right now, where I started, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's like 6.15 right now, so I got a few things to finish up before I hit the road. A few things of note before I go and make my lunch. Make sure you're in comfortable clothing, you know, on the top and the bottom, like super tight pants or leggings are not gonna cut it. I also recommend putting on sunblock because if not, it's just from, there we go, having your wrist in the, I'm so blind, just from having your, <laughs> uh your hand your arm on that uh door panel gonna make my lunch and then get the day started <laughs> already now I am going to go put gas in and then I'll go pick up some more boxes and we'll be on the road boxes loaded now they are boxes of COVID samples which I'll be driving from Las Vegas to a lab in Santa Clarita California which usually makes it about a four hour and 15 minute drive which is really nice agriculture checkpoint. We've now entered California after leaving Las Vegas. If you find the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days, I don't worry about much. I think so when I first got my van, I was driving across the U.S. with it for work. But then I decided I wanted to find local work where I could be home every night. And doing that, it's really as simple as pull up Google, type in cargo van jobs in Las Vegas or whatever city that you're in. You just make sure you're looking for something where it says you must supply your own vehicle or independent contractor work or like owner operator are some of the keywords to look for. And the company that I ended up finding, they didn't have this route at first. I was doing smaller stuff for them in Vegas and Arizona, sometimes California too, but it wasn't a dedicated route like this. And then I think it was like September or October of last year when they offered this to me saying, you know, four days a week, 
driving to Santa Clarita, California. It's 365 a day. Do you want it? And I was like, cha. It's nice to have this consistency. I know when I was driving over the road, I was like hesitant about truck stops and sleeping at them or using their showers and stuff. I would always stop at like Love's. I really liked them. The showers were clean. I felt safe in the parking lot. I would have my cargo back there and then also a air mattress that I would blow up at night and go to bed and it was fine. I have stuff to like cover my windows and stuff to give me that privacy but it was fun. California freeways is like a lawless Mad Max style territory. I don't know how these people got their license, how they keep their license. Don't care. They expect you to slam on your brakes so you don't hit them. exactly 11:40, and I'm done now I'm going to go put some gas in and then head back home and I am probably about five or ten minutes away from my house apparently every road in Las Vegas is under construction so getting home always takes a bit longer than I'd like but at the end of the day at least you're making it home you're safe you're in one piece well all the entire day from the time I picked up the packages and was on my way to California at 7.20, that puts it at the nine hour mark, which for a work day, I mean, that's typically a full-time work day anywhere, so it's not bad and it's really simple. I don't know how this video will cut and edit together or if there's anything that I've left out, if there's any questions anyone might have, questions about the cargo van line of work in general, which I'm still a novice at. This May, it'll be one year. I've been making it work and plan to keep doing it and expanding, potentially thinking of getting some box trucks that I can have going over the road with higher drivers to run those. So maybe I'll document it for YouTube, maybe I won't. We'll see. Any questions, comments? Leave them down below. Is that what people say? I'm not gonna say like and subscribe because if you don't like it, you don't like it. And if you don't wanna subscribe, you don't have to. Thank you for watching. Hopefully it was entertaining, at least a little informative. That's the goal here. All right, bye guys.